What's going on guys? Merrick here back with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today Bandai has blessed us with not only the set 9 starter deck but also the expert deck as well. That's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video because it is all about androids and it is all about the ultimate android cell. We have not gotten cell support since set 2. Legitimate cell support since set 2. We have had six other main series sets and three theme booster sets since the time that we got Cell back in Set 2 in Union Force. So I am really excited to see what we're getting in Set 9, and I'm really hyped to see what we get in this new Expert deck as well. Let's go ahead and check this shit out. So first up, we have our new Cell Leader centered around the Cell Games. His auto says, when this card is placed in your leader area, choose up to one Cell Games Arena from your deck, activate it, and you can't activate field cards for the duration of the game. So you're only going to need one of those field cards. It's going to come into play at the start of the match, and you're not going to be able to play another one. Now, whether or not this field card will be able to be destroyed, or it'll be like uh, Dr. Wheelow's lab that can't be removed from the field, yet to be seen. But it's going to be interesting nonetheless. This also means that if you play this, you cannot play Cell's Birth in the same deck. However, what I'm wondering is, if you don't play the leader card... Then, if you don't, or if you don't play the field card with the leader card, would the ability still prevent you from being able to play Cell's Birth with this leader? I don't quite know just yet. But once we see that arena card, we'll know whether or not this leader is worth playing over, say, the older Cell leader or the new green yellow Cell leader that we know we're going to be getting. His activate main says: once per turn, choose one green or yellow card from your hand. Place it under this card, then choose one card in your life, place it in your drop area, and draw two cards. That's not a bad ability, but the thing I don't like is that you are critting your own life. And for a leader that his awakened ability doesn't, uh, doesn't center around you having to be at a specific life total to awaken, it's not really that good of an ability. His Awaken says, if there is a total of four or more energy between you and your opponent, you may draw two cards and flip this card over. That is going to be a really easy ability. That means that you are going to be able to Awaken turn two if you went second, and turn three if you went first. Unless you're playing some, some crazy ramp stuff, then you can go, uh, you can Awaken turn two on your turn two if you went first. But that's, that's a whole other issue that we're not going to get into right now. On the Awakened side, we have Cell and Cell Jr. Endless Supremity. I think that should be Supremacy, but I'm not really quite sure. His Activate Main says, once per turn, choose one green or yellow card from your hand, place it under this card, choose a card in your life, place it in your drop area, draw two cards. So the same ability as the Unawakened side. The other Activate Main says, once per turn, choose two cards under this card, place them in their owner's drop areas, play two Cell Jr. tokens. Cell Jr. tokens have 10,000 power, zero combo cost, 5,000 combo power. I don't particularly care for that ability. Now, if there are other cards that focus around you having Cell Junior tokens, that's one thing. If the Cell Games Arena powers up Cell Junior tokens or gives them, like, crit or something like that, then that's not bad. But honestly, for what this leader does, I feel like the old leader is just better. You're still getting to draw two cards. You're still putting cards underneath him, but you're getting to also KO your opponent's battle cards. Uh, with that ability as well. So it's really going to be heavily dependent on what the Cell Games Arena does and what the purpose of the Cell Junior tokens is supposed to accomplish. The first card in the deck is Cell Genetic Consumption. We got another first form Cell. This is my personal favorite form. He's a one cost, 5,000 power. It says Union Absorb for no energy, so all the Cell haters are gonna hate on that one. Choose one Android 17 card in your drop area and place it under this card. Choose up to one green-yellow multicolor cell card with energy cost of four from your hand or deck. Play it on top of this card in active mode and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So, theoretically, this card could attack. Uh, if your opponent had, like, a one-cost 5,000, say they uh, played, like, the Crit Gohan or something like that, you could actually have this cell KO it, then do the Union Absorb, and go into your four-cost. Now... What sucks is we can't use it with the old cell support since you have to get a 4 cost green yellow cell, but there are ways that we can mesh the old cell support with the new cell support. I'm already uh, working on that. I've got the wheels are turning. we got some crazy ideas for that that I'm looking forward to, but I do like this card. Uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of ways that uh, cell is going to be able to 
do some crazy stuff early on. The next card is Android 18, Imminent Danger. She's a 3 cost, 15,000 power, 2 cost with the Android 17 leader. Her activate main for 1 energy says if your leader card is an Android card, and you send this card from your drop area to your warp, choose up to 1 green or yellow Android card with an energy cost of 1 in your drop area, and add it to your hand. That opens up a lot of options. We got some good Android support in set 8. We're getting more in set 9. We've got some in set 2. A lot of Androids you can choose with that ability. Then we have Android 17, Impending Crisis. He's a 1 cost, 4,000 power, counter attack. Negate the attack and play this card. Auto says, if your leader card is an Android card, when you play this card, choose up to one battle card with energy cost of 4 or less that has Android in its name from your deck and place it in your drop area. So that is going to go ahead and to fuel the, uh, the, the new play style of Cell, which revolves around cards being in your drop area. That also means that this deck is going to work really well with cards that have the sparking ability. So your super combos, unless you're wanting to run the old Android 16 super combo for, you know, lols, or if you're playing hand destruction, I'll probably run it and try it out. Then you're going to want to run the sparking super combos as well as the sparking negates for this deck. Then we have Super Saiyan Son Goku, Valiant Breakthrough. He's a 4 cost, 15,000. His auto says when you combo with this card from your drop area, choose up to one green-yellow multicolor Sun Gohan Childhood card in your battle area and switch it to active mode. His activate main says if your opponent has four or more energy and you have a cell card with an energy cost of four or more in play, play this card from your hand. If you do, choose up to one of your opponent's cards, switch it to rest mode, and you can't play Super Saiyan Sun Goku Valiant Breakthrough for the duration of the turn. So, you're going to get this free Goku into play, and then that way... You can combo with him, and you can switch a Gohan back to active mode, uh, but being able to play him with the activate main lets you switch one of your opponent's cards to rest mode as well, so that's a really cool ability. Uh, I don't know that I really want to run this together in the same deck, but we'll see. Then we've got Super Saiyan Vegeta begrudging support. He's a 2 cost 15k's, auto says when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle, uh, skillless battle cards, KO it, and this card gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of turn. That's really situational against, like, skillless cards. Obviously, we're going to get more skillless cards with every set, so skillless decks can adapt and evolve, but I personally um, think this card's really situational, and I probably, I don't know, I probably wouldn't even run this card at all. Then we have Pernicious Progeny. It's a one-cost extra card. It says, activate battle, choose up to two cell junior tokens in your battle area, remove them from the game. For each cell junior token you remove from the game with this skill, choose up to one of your opponent's cards, switch it to rest mode. Activate main for one yellow, says if your leader card's a cell card, add this card from to your hand from your drop area. So you can keep getting this card back to keep switching your opponent's cards to rest mode. Not battle cards, cards. So you can switch their energy to rest mode as well. So that's really cool. You can switch their blockers to rest mode. This is a really cool card. And it gives you a reason to want to run the uh, Cell Junior token support. Uh, we've also got the Cell that came in the Ultimate Box forever ago that generates two tokens when it comes out, which is somewhat compatible with uh, the new Cell support, so we can kind of take advantage of that. Hopefully we'll get more kind of token support like this with the Arena card, but we won't know until we actually see what that card does. But all in all, I do like this card, and it's a good little card you can splash in with yellow. Uh, I don't know that it's really necessary, but we'll definitely be willing to give it a try. Then we have Super Saiyan 2, Sun Gohan, Wounded Victor. He's an 8 cost, 30,000 with Triple Strike. With the new successor ability for 1 green, 1 yellow, and 1 other. It says, choose any number of your mono green, mono yellow, or green yellow multicolored battle cards, whose energy cost adds up to the energy cost of this card, Place them in their owner's drop areas and play this card from your hand. So you basically have to tribute summon him like you would, uh, shit, an Egyptian god card in Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Gohan is now a god. Super Saiyan 2. His auto says when this card attacks, choose up to one yellow Sun Goku card in your drop area and combo with it. So you're going to combo with the previous Goku, and he's going to switch this Gohan back to active mode. So that's going to be two uh, triple attack, or triple strikes. Uh, coming out in one turn, that's that's a lot of power, especially since you can play him for only 3 energy instead of playing him for 8. This Gohan, I feel like, is going to be 
a really deadly card, and honestly, I'm happy for it because uh, Cell Saga Gohan has been severely underrated in this game. Cell has been severely underrated. I, Androids, maybe not so much, but definitely Cell himself and uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, so it's, it's really cool to see more support like that, and I'm really happy that we're getting uh, more support for those characters as well. Then we have Cell, Perfection Misspent. Really weird name. He's an 8 cost, 20,000 power. That's severely underwhelming uh, as far as the power level goes. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So that's a really nice ability there. Uh, his auto says, choose one Android 18 card under this card, place it in its owner's drop area. When your opponent's card attacks, negate the attack, then choose up to one green, yellow, multicolor Cell card. When the energy cost a 4 under this card, play it, and then send this card to drop. So, you are basically recycling Cell over and over again to get his abilities. So, you'll get the abilities of the 4 drop Cell. 4 drop can go back into the 8 drop, which is going to KO a card. Then when he dies again, you can just you can keep recycling them. That seems to be kind of the, uh, the theme for this Cell support, and it seems really cool. I'm, I'm really, really digging it. I'm really looking forward to playing with it, but I'm also really looking forward to trying to find a way to mesh this new support with uh, with the OG cell support. It is green-yellow, which is, is a good color combination for control, for sure, but I, I do wish that I could just still run mono-green. I feel like I'm the only player trying to run monocolor decks. Then we have Cell Perfection Reclaimed. He's a 4 cost 15,000 with Union Absorb for 1 green. So, all those Cell haters that were complaining because he didn't have a cost of Union Absorb can rejoice because it costs 1 green energy. That's what you guys wanted. It says, choose 1 Android 18 card in your drop area. Play the, place it under this card. Choose up to 1 Cell card with an energy cost of 8 from your deck or hand. Place it on top of this card in active mode. Shuffle your deck if you look through it. So, you're going to get that 18 under this cell card. You're going to get the 8 drop cell. He's going to come out. He's going to KO a card. This cell doesn't do anything. So, unlike the 5 drop cell we had that actually KO'd one of your opponent's battle cards and you drew a card, this one does none of that, but it does let you easily union into the 8 drop. And it specifies it has to be an 8 drop. So it does not get to... It does not get to go into the 7 drop like a lot of us wish it would. His auto says if you have 4 more energy when this card is placed in a drop area from a battle area by a skill, choose up to 1 cell card with energy cost of 8 in your drop area and play it. So, he's, he's kind of got a backup to where when he would die, you still get the, the bigger cell back onto the board. So it's really cool how he kind of recycles himself, and I I like it. I like this deck. I like the new support. It's really it's gonna be really fun to play around with. Uh, but I'm still thinking. I'm seeing different ways to play it, and honestly, I feel like like this Gohan support. The Gohan support needs to be its own deck. Um, personally, I feel like Androids. They've always been one of my favorite decks to play. It's gonna be one of my favorite decks again. Uh, I honestly I don't know. I feel like playing a deck for this cell leader right now is gonna be better off as its own deck if you want to play it that way. I'm still feeling like I prefer the set two cell leader over this one, so we're gonna have to wait and see how the set nine cell leader does. And depending on that, I may still play old school Android seventeen leader, and then throw in this new cell support, because there's nothing saying that you can't play it with an android leader. There are a few cards that require your leader to be cell, but for the most part, you can play this with whichever leader you wanted. We've also got a few new cards that have been revealed that do not have any of their stats, their names, their abilities on them. Uh, we've got a new yellow android 17. One specified cost, so I'm probably guessing he's anywhere between a one cost to a three cost. I really don't know how I feel about having multicolor androids, because I really want them to be mono green, but I know that that's not always going to be possible. 
We've got a mono yellow Android 18 as well, also with a one specified yellow cost. So they are at least making it very easy for players like me to run close to mono green, uh, but allowing us to run some of these new uh, yellow Android cards with the old uh, green Android support, especially with the Android 17 leader, which is, that's always been my goal, has been to be able to play that leader again with the new support. We also got a new blue-green Android 18. One green, one blue. I'm guessing a 4 cost, maybe a 5 cost. I would really like a good, legitimate Android um, finisher. An Android, like, boss card. I don't care if it's Android 17, I don't care if it's Android 18, but it needs to be one of the two. Having a good Android 16 finisher would be dope, but I, I, I need something for just legitimate Androids. We also are getting a new Dr. Giro or Android 20 card. He's going to be green, yellow, one green, one yellow specified energy. I'm not sure exactly what he's going to do based on uh, the card art that they chose. I'm happy to see more Dr. Giro support. Uh, I don't want to call it support, but more cards featuring Dr. Shiro, because he is such an instrumental character to all the androids and Cell, and I feel like he's severely underrated, and I personally just want more cards for him. Then we've got new Cell Jr., uh, Mono Green, specified 2, maybe a 3 cost, possibly a 4 cost, but with it being Cell Jr., I highly doubt it. I'm going to assume, though, he does something with tokens. Maybe he generates more Cell Jr. tokens uh, to go along with the, the other cards that uh, take advantage of you having those tokens. If not, he'll be just as useless as the other Cell Jr. card we have. Then we've got the Field card. This is going to be the Cell Games Arena, green-yellow. Uh, it's going to come into play when you play the leader. Hopefully, uh, since you can only play one Field card a game, that being it. Hopefully this card cannot be removed from the battle area like Willow's Lab, but until we actually see a card effect for it, it it's anybody's guess. But I, I like the art. I like the creepy cell above uh, the Cell Game Stadium. Really cool card. And then we've got this last card of Golden Frieza fighting Dispo. I'm not really sure why that card in particular is with this deck. I mean, I understand, you know, it's probably just like a more generic yellow support uh, for an extra card. So I, I guess I can kind of understand it because there's going to be some some yellow crap uh, around uh, Universe 11 in this set. So, I mean, it's not completely out there, but it is still kind of weird for it to be with the Android deck. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the Android Expert deck. Again, I am so happy to see... That not only are Androids getting more support, Cells getting more support. It's going to be really interesting to see how Green Yellow does for an Android deck, or even Cell in general. Uh, I did do a Green Yellow Cell deck a little while back ago. You guys can go check out the profile. I might put the link in the description if I remember to do that during editing. But it works well enough because Yellow and Green both have uh, their own kind of... Uh, their own themes for control, and they work really well together. Uh, but I'm looking, I'm definitely looking forward to building some androids again too. I've already got my androids sitting out on my desk, ready to rebuild that shit. And honestly, we could do tricolored androids: green, yellow, blue. Ooh, plenty of support for that stuff. So that might be a really fun deck for us to get into. But let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments down below. What do you think about this cell and the way the new cell support goes? And do you think we're going to get, I mean, obviously we're getting new support for it in the set as well, but do you think it's better or worse than the older Cell support? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Same thing with the Androids. Androids and Cell, those are my just, like, Trunks is my favorite character, Goku Black is one of my favorite characters, but as a theme, as a whole, it's got to go to the Androids. It's my favorite saga. But with that, we're going to go ahead and get the freak out of here, and we will see you guys in the next video.